So we've only had this about five minutes and we've already got this manky banana on there. Don't eat the chalk, please. Hi, I'm Sam from Dove Cottage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you an IKEA hack, my favourite. I'm going to be transforming the lat kids table and chairs into a chalkboard drawing station. And as you can see, it's going down well already. So this is the lat table and chairs from Ikea. I think that's how you say it anyway. Um, and first things first, I'm just going to put it together. So this pine that's on the table and it's also on the chairs is a really nice untreated pine. So we don't need to do any priming or sanding or anything like that. We can just go ahead and paint. The top of it is sort of a plastic coated MDF. So we're going to need to prime that first. And to do that, I'm going to use some frog tape to tape around the wood here so I don't get any of the primer on the wood. I'm going to use this plastic primer. So these are the two colours I'm going to go for. Pink for the table, navy for the chairs. Wouldn't normally go that dark but I think they're going to work really well together. I'm going to make a start on the chairs now, which I've decided to do in a contrasting colour, this navy. I'm a little bit nervous about this because obviously it's a really dark colour, but I hope it will look good. So, they are drying. Betsy. Hello. Always ignoring me. So I've now done two coats of the pink on the table and I've taken the top of it off along here because we're now ready to paint the chalkboard paint. Let's use this, it's just a standard blackboard paint. <laughs> So this has had one coat and is all dry and ready to get started with the second coat. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to here. These have had two coats now, so they're looking really good. And what we're going to do now is we're going to measure from the bottom up the legs to measure out the gold dipped bit. I have decided that I want the gold section to be 10 centimetres from the bottom. So I'm just going to mark that on all the legs and then frog tape it off so we can paint. So I have taped off the legs of both the table and the chairs and we're ready to start painting in gold. Hi there. So I've done a second coat of the chalkboard paint and now we are moving on to doing the gold dipped legs. Also just noticed I missed a bit there so we'll sort that in a minute. So we are using this gold paint, Rustoleum. So I've um, painted all the legs gold now. I'm just going to wait for them to dry. Oh. This is what I have to deal with when I'm painting. Okay, so just given the top of that a third coat and I painted the bit there that I missed. I'm not going to worry about these bits under here because you're not going to see them. So the gold is now dry, so we're going to pull the tape off and hope that it looks good. So here we go. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. So good. This one needs a little bit of touching up, but hopefully they will all look as good as that one. So on this leg, you can see here there's a bit of a smudge because the tape wasn't sealed down tight enough. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little kiddie painting brush and something straight. So I've just got this nail file, that'll do. Um, and I'm just going to touch it up. So I'm literally just going to hold the nail file. There we go. So 
So this is the material we're going to use for the seat pads. Originally from Ikea but I found it on eBay. What we need is to cut this into two 50 by 50 centimetre squares. Then we're going to put a bit of foam on the chairs, staple this on top and create a comfy seat pad. So now we're going to make the pads for the chair and I've got some foam here which I picked up in Dunelm. It's the one inch thick foam. So we're going to measure out two squares for each chair, 24 by 24 centimetres and then we're going to attach them. So I've taken the chair apart to make the seat pad and I have basically cut a bit of foam, a bit smaller than the plastic seat part. You want to make sure that we can slide it back into the chair. I have cut a piece of material which is slightly bigger than the foam and the pad because we're going to fold it over and staple it on like that to create the seat. So that's all done and we just need to put the chair back together again. So it's dark outside, this is how long I've been working on this. So it turns out the foam is a no-go, you can't get the chair back together again with the foam pad on, so I've had to change it and go with no foam at all. I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I've had to do, we've had to ditch the foam because this part of the seat won't go back in with a bit of foam on. So I've ditched the foam and I've just used the material. I need to trim it up obviously. Just done it exactly the same as I was going to. I've stapled the material to the bit of wood. It's a shame about the foam but at least we still got to keep the material. So we are all done and ready to pull the tape off this. So there's a couple of little bits I definitely need to touch up first and then we should be all done. So as you can see we've got a couple of little bits that we need to touch up. So a really good idea is to use a cotton bud, dip it in the paint and you can just touch it up a lot easier. And this is the finished product. I'm so happy with it, love the gold, so glad I went with those. And the seat pads look great even though we couldn't do the um, foam. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure to subscribe and I will be back soon with more budget home hacks, IKEA hacks, DIY tutorials. I've got loads of things planned, so hopefully see you soon.